And, and this stuff right here. This this expression right here is pretty clear of what's going on right here. They're playing pool and they're drinking beer. Yeah. <laughs> good times, good times. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to talk about Ricardo Estrada. Ricardo and uh, is uh, I don't want to say he's my favorite, very favorite artist, but he's one of my very favorite artists. I have to say that, you know, and I really, and I had asked him, how come he doesn't, I don't see enough artwork, enough artwork of his around, you know. I probably had attended three exhibitions with his artwork, but he's totally amazing, you know, and I'm not very clear on this, but maybe you guys know about that he was um, commissioned by De La Olla to, uh, have some artwork at the MGM in Las Vegas in the past. Uh, so, you know, he, he really is very selfish with his talent because, as I say, we really don't see much of it. And regarding to this piece, and he also painted a fabulous mural with Raul and with Erin Yoshi. And who else participated in the mural for the Vial for the Kips uh, for Quidela? Uh, where he depicted also Tlaloc, so maybe you want to talk about because it's the same imagery, Tlaloc as the god of water. Yeah, you know, I'll talk about Ricardo, because he always talks about everybody else. <laughs> uh, he, he uh, like you say, he's an amazing artist, you know, homegrown, right here from Ball Heights, long history. Um, he's from LA, and a uh, you know, very talented artist, like you say, very selfish with his, with his talent. But he's also real humble with his talent because he gives a lot for free to youth. He, he does free uh, uh, classes with certain youth that are, you know, that want to really learn. Um, you know, I've been working with him for a pretty long time. So, I mean, we went home back together, shit like that, you know. Um, uh, so this piece right here has a Tlaloc. And again, he's trying to like show the, he's referencing the, the, the Chicano culture, the Pachuco lifestyle or whatever here in Bull Heights and also showing the, the cultural side of of, of uh, how how the culture is still alive within us you know and so he's kind of like putting that together like juxtaposing it he does a lot of pieces like this uh, joining together the, the images of the cultura and the people and it's mostly like the people in the street the people that kind of get either overlooked or or get kind of like uh, stigmatized like oh that's a reason cholo or whatever you know um, so, um, yeah, so that, that's his piece. It's a dope piece. Dope piece. And, and, and unfortunately, he only did all this work on this side, and on the other side, he let the little kids go nuts. And that was good because you gotta, you gotta balance it out like that. That's perfect, you know. Uh, and you know, the other thing is that if you have seen his paintings, there is always about immigrants and representing them with a lot of pride. You know, he's very proud of his ancestry and who he is. And, you know, one of the things that I do is I love to bring attention to our artists and to help, you know, so the artists can show in galleries uh, where the art should be seen, you know, and uh, uh, hopefully Ricardo one day will decide to be more generous and I know he moved uh, to somewhere. Uh, right. No, 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 but he moved, uh, you know, he has a liver here.